Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Christopher from Cars Unlocked and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing some troubleshooting on the Android Auto. If your Android Auto is not working, what you can try to get it to work. What made this video transpire was a lot of people were commenting on my setup video about their Android Auto not working and what they can do to get it to work. So I'm gonna post this video for your reference. If you wanna know how to set up your Android Auto, don't forget to check out my first video of me walking you through setting it up. But this is more of a troubleshooting if you're having trouble. So again, let's get started. So first things first, obviously you need a compatible Android smartphone for the Android Auto to work and you need to download the app. Your Android has to have the 5.0 Lollipop version or higher. Um, the Android Auto website recommends that you have the Marshmallow software. You have to make sure your data is on and your Bluetooth should be already connected to the car. So you can see uh, my initial setup. If you haven't done that, that's your first step. If you plug your phone in, it will take a minute to load, but your Android Auto should load automatically. I'm gonna hit open here. This is my first setup, so I can hit continue all throughout. If you don't get to this screen when you plug your phone in, there's gonna be obviously an issue, and there's a few things that I'm gonna tell you to determine whether this is your phone or your car. So the first thing you have to make sure is, is it your phone or your car, or it could be even your power cord. So the first thing you should do is try a different phone. So if your phone isn't connecting properly, grab a friend's phone or your wife's phone and try plugging in a new phone and see if the Android Auto initializes when that pops up. If it does, then it's obviously the phone that you're using. And you need to make sure that your phone is compatible. Secondly, you can make sure that the car is compatible. So I'll post a link on the Android Auto website. They do have a car um, list of all the cars that are compatible and I'll post the link in the description below and you can make sure the car is compatible. But now pretty much any car 19 or newer with a touch screen is going to be compatible. If that doesn't work, it could be your phone cord. So I would recommend you get a high quality cord. Um, try switching the cord to make sure that that works. It should have a USB symbol right on the cord and that's how you know it's a quality USB cable and it's not one of these uh, dollar store ones. That one's obviously not going to uh, work. Another troubleshoot, the Android Auto might not be enabled in your infotainment settings. So you need to check if Android Auto is on. Like right now I'm sitting in a Nissan Titan and how you do that, each car might be a little different, but you can go into the settings. On this one, I scroll over to apps and then I see the Android Auto is listed here. When I click that, see it says enable after USB connection, never. So basically that just means that it's not gonna automatically connect. You wanna change that to always, and that means that it's gonna automatically connect. So that could be another issue. It might not automatically be connecting. You might physically have to go into the settings and set that up. Now you can see that I've enabled that. The Android Auto is, uh, is connected there. If you've done all the things that I've suggested and then that doesn't work, there are a few other troubleshooting tips. One thing that I would suggest is you can try to reset the software on your vehicle. And in this car, again, how you do that, you can go into the settings, it's in others, and you can go return all settings to the default settings. That's gonna take it back to how it was in the factory. And then you can try again to set up your Android Auto. Lastly, I would suggest try uninstalling the Android Auto app uh, from your phone and reinstalling it on your phone and that should work. Hopefully that helps guys. There's a little troubleshooting on the Android Auto. If you still can't get your Android Auto connected after watching this video, just tell me the problem in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you. Again, my name is Christopher from Cars Unlocked. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and continue watching. Thank you so much, have a great day.